This YCN segment is brought to you by M.J. Harrington & Company, jewelers and designers since 1948. Welcome back. YCN Sports Talk. Jeremy Stout, Brett Franklin in studio today. You can always catch Brett's show noon to one, Monday through Friday on 94.3 FM in Claremont and 94.5 FM in White River Junction. Also online, 945ESPN.com. Brett, we turn our attention to football months away, but the draft is over. We look at first the breakdown. Tom Brady, he was kind of in the spotlight these last few weeks or last few days, obviously at the Kentucky Derby, on Jimmy Kimmel, at the Met Gala last night uh, or a couple nights ago. It's a tough life. I know, right? It is tough, and he's 42 years older. He will be in August. He recently said on the Jimmy Kimmel show he wants to play. He continues to stay until he's 45. Do you believe that more or less each season? And by that, do you think he could play longer than that as the seasons go by? What's to say he can't, right? I mean, he's probably in the best shape he's ever been in in his life. Uh, and, you know, say what you will about the TB12 method and, you know, and, and all the things that he eats or he doesn't eat or, you know, the exercises that he doesn't want to do. I mean, it's worked. I mean, we're seeing this guy break barriers at the age of 42, whereas you look at guys like, you know, Joe Namath or, you know, some of the guys that lasted until they were 40 and it just, it was a disaster. This guy has shown no signs of slowing down. And again, in a league where it's protecting the quarterback, um, you know, he has been able, you know, he's been kept up right. They've had the offensive line uh, uh, that has obviously prolonged his career as well. I don't see why this guy can't go to till 45. Now, obviously his deal's coming up at the right. uh, end relatively soon. How long do they sign him on that? Um, does this bode well for a guy like uh, Jared Stidham, the, uh, you, the Auburn quarterback they drafted as far as easing him along? to maybe being the future, but uh, I, I could see him going to 45. There's no reason why not. There's always an exception to the rule. And the way that this team is put together with obviously Bill Belichick knowing that, you know, that's the most important position, building around him, the offensive line, as you mentioned, he's getting some extra running backs. Clearly he has a good stable of running backs behind him, quick throws, good receivers. So clearly he's in a really good position, and I, and I wouldn't uh, be surprised if he does even go beyond that. Now, keeping it in line with the division, looks like right now the Jets are the second favorite in the AFC East. They've made some moves. Obviously, it looks like they're kind of on the upswing, well, at least compared to the other two teams in the division. Is there any chance they'll challenge, or is it just it's a distant second place right now? I think it's a distant second place right now. I think, you know, hey, if you're a Jets fan, you got to be excited, right? You finally went out, you spent some money. Um, you know, Le'Veon Bell, it's a nice pickup, but what are you going to get from him? The guy has not played in over a year, yep. you know, now that he's got that contract. Um, you know, what's the motivation for him to come out here? And, and you know, again, what's going to happen when things get tough? Because, you know, you know, especially if the Jets struggle, you know, what is he going to be a, a locker room problem as apparently he was in Pittsburgh? Uh, but, you know, Sam Darnold, you know, I, I would imagine you need to see some sort of uh, some sort of progression this year. Um, I didn't like the hire of Adam Gase. I, I, I you know, I just think he's a he's a bleh coach, right? Yeah. You know, and uh, probably a good coordinator, but just not head coach material. I thought they could have done better. So, I mean, I think 500's reasonable for this team, um, but I don't see them being a serious contender. Yeah, I think they take a step up. And in right in comparison to the Bills and the Dolphins, they might be a little bit better, but still a ways behind. And, and moving on over to the bigger picture of the AFC, obviously the closest competitors last year were the Kansas City Chiefs. They lose some players on the offensive side, defensive side, special teams. It looks like Tyreek Hill, he might be up in the air whether he even plays this season. Are they still on the heels of the Patriots, or have they taken that step back and is there going to be some film on Patrick Mahomes and they might be able to stop him a little better this year? Nah, I don't think Mahomes is going to have as huge of a season as he had. He's still a good quarterback, right. don't get me wrong. Um, I think Kansas City's, uh, you know, I'm not going to say their window was, was last year, but I think they probably had, uh, you know, the team to finally beat the Patriots and they could not do it. Listen, I'm not an Andy Reid guy. I know people, yeah, I mean, this is a big year for Andy Reid. Right. Like, he's, yeah. He has to get it done this year. Uh, because again, good regular season coach, but can't get can't win the big one, can't do it. And again, he's had teams in Kansas City where they've had the formula, they've had the defense in years past. Um, but I I think you know this year they take a little bit of a step backwards. I still think the Patriots are clear favorites in the AFC. Clear. And and the AFC East. Let's not kid ourselves. They still have the Chargers. Well, I mean that was right a, that was a foregone <laughs> conclusion. 
<laughs> the Chargers are still there. I don't think the Raiders or the Broncos will make some noise, but uh, you're right. The Steelers are depleted. I mean, they've right, got... Right, it's the Patriots and then everybody else. Yes. It just depends on how big that gap is. So, not a lot of time to talk about uh, the NFL, obviously. Uh, plenty of time to see how that goes with training camp and everything after the draft. So, we'll take our final break when we come back. Lots more basketball, Western Conference, and we'll make our Salt Hill Pub Picks of the Week. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.